this four-part series, get an inside look on the making of one of the most anticipated titles in gaming history. Inside Assassin's Creed 3. Connor is the brand new hero in the game. He's a, a brand new assassin. He's half Native American, half European. We wanted to build that base conflict into his background. Why are you here? When he begins his journey, he has a very clear sense of what is right and what is wrong. He is forever motivated by a desire to do the right thing. Commander. Connor. He's fighting for freedom and he's fighting against tyranny. You as Connor, as the assassin, are the critical part of the American Revolution. The way that we wanted to deal with the historical figures was for you to meet them sort of over the course of your journey in a way in which the history books wouldn't normally portray them. General Putney. What? Many of the founders were very tough individuals. Many of them were the equivalent of the modern badass. Our founding fathers were very hard, disciplined, dedicated individuals who wanted freedom, who wanted liberty, who wanted to express themselves their own way and not be controlled. These founding fathers were comfortable with war and they were warriors. Do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Connor doesn't know much of the European ways at first, and then he gets to learn about these guys, these heroic figures. So for Washington, for instance, he sees that very strong guy, and Connor believes in him. Connor is moving in and out of both the revolution and the rest of the history. Whenever he sees conflict between two groups, he takes the side of the greater good. We've been working very closely with the Mohawk consultant on uh, values as well on language. We are Gunyet Gahaga. Gunyet Gahaga means the people of the Flint. Agoreteka, you're doing great. And our language is called Gunyet Geha. Every time that he's with his people or in his village, they speak the language, which I think is really cool. Connor, as a Native American character, he's very familiar with Native American war clubs, with the tomahawk, with the bow. He's got very refined sense of hunting and tracking. He's been raised with the ability to navigate this environment. Connor has a lot of his ancestry's strength from the Mohawks. He's strong, he's agile, he's able to run in the wood very quickly. It's really his nature, that's really his home. We had so many different versions of Connor, and he started off really slim, and then we bulked him up by adding fur and cloaks and all these things. Instead of this thin, lean assassin, like he fills out his coat. He's just a warrior in every sense. The animation team has built over an hour of new animations just for Connor alone. We started by looking at lots of military moves and, and even traditional ones of how you would fight with a tomahawk. We looked at that and we just thought it, it wasn't awesome enough. So we went really brutal and it wasn't just throwing in blood. We put a lot of time into the navigation elements and we've completely redone our climb system. We really wanted it to be much more organic. There's so much variety in what he can climb and how he can do it. Connor moves are directly inspired by parkour. Parkour is basically all about efficiency of movement. It's the quickest manner from point A to point B. When you see specific parkour movements, Connor doing a lazy vault or a dive roll, now, the movements themselves are very accurate. Connor moves in the game like I want to move in real life. We wanted Connor to be a dual-handed specialist, so basically he's ambidextrous. He can fight with both hands. 
When he lands, the ground shakes. And when he fights, you know, people are getting knocked left, right and centre. He's very brutal. He is battle-driven. He's brutality. And he's the type of assassin who comes up and kills without question or hesitation. The soldiers were not really able to go up against Connor. Connor's a killing machine. He's a ninja in a tank with a wolverine in there. Next time on Inside Assassin's Creed 3. America by land and sea. You control the sea and you control the conflict. What's new about Assassin's Creed 3? Obviously new cities with New York and Boston. It was a gamble every year that you were out on the frontier whether you are going to make it or not.